Hi, I'm Lee, and welcome to my sewing room. After barely finishing quilt number three on schedule, I started on quilt number four. I have learned that I am not the person for a challenge like this. Sometimes I just wanted to sew something else, but I felt compelled to stay on track with this challenge. I reminded myself why I'm doing this in the first place, and I've been able to stick with it. Fabric Cafe's three yard quilt patterns are a tremendous help. They are a perfect size for children, and more importantly, they are quick and easy to make. I've talked about the process in my previous quilt challenge videos, so this video is a quick progress update. Quilt number four comes from Fabric Cafe's Make It Christmas with Three Yard Quilts. I chose the Favorite Things pattern. I was really proud of myself for not using a package bundle of fabrics. I chose these fabrics all by myself. I also had to choose the backing fabric. Here is fabric number one with the backing, fabric number two, and fabric number three, which is directional. I didn't notice that when I bought it. This quilt has a very simple design. It's only one block using different fabrics. I cut the fabrics according to the pattern directions and organized the pieces into bags as recommended. The only block in this quilt is a modification of a snowball block. I placed the small squares in opposite corners of the large square. I sewed from corner to corner of the small squares along the previously drawn lines. Then I trimmed off the corners of the block so I had a quarter inch seam along the diagonal line. I folded out the corners and gave the block a good press. When all the blocks were finished, I sewed them all together according to the quilt assembly diagram. Rather than the stitch in the ditch quilting that I would normally do, I chose this decorative stitch for my quilting. I finished up the borders, backing and binding and my favorite things quilt was finished. I'm donating these quilts to Project Linus. A drop-off location for Project Linus is Hayes Sewing Machine Company in Wilmington, Delaware. It's a great family-run store and if you're ever in the area I recommend you drop by. So quilt number four is finished and on its way to a child who needs it. I've never been great at putting fabrics together, so going rogue by not using a package bundle may not have been the best decision. The fabrics I chose were not necessarily child-centered. Hopefully the quilt can still be used. I've already bought supplies for quilts number five and six, which should make it easier for me to stay on my schedule but I will think long and hard before I commit to another challenge like this. Thanks for watching.